back to my channel, it's Plixel, or better known as Raichu if you're coming from Tumblr, which you might be because I'll probably post this there. Um, so my friend Krista asked me to make a little, like, UV mapping tutorial thing, I guess explanation thing video, I don't know. Anyways, so I figured I would because if you don't know, if you're on my channel, this is so complicated, I feel like I'm living, I feel like I'm Hannah Montana. Okay, <laughs> anyways, um, so basically... I make Sims 4 CC on my Tumblr, if you didn't know. Um, and I make hairs because I like hairs the most and I'm bad at clothes. So, um, anyways, so I figured I would show her specifically, but also just for anybody else that is kind of confused about UV mapping. Um, it was very complicated. It looks really complicated, but it's, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. And you'll be like, wow, this was like easy breezy cover girl. Okay, I need to stop. Okay, okay. Um, but let's just go into edit mode. So the first thing you want to do is decide which texture you're going to use. I'm going to use the base here. This is the braids from Tiny Living. Um, yes, yes. This is the braid crown from Tiny Living. So I'm going to use this and I'm just going to select it all. And you need to figure out which diffusion map it is. And I believe it's this one. Hey, it's editing, Kylie. And I'm realizing now that I, I could be explaining this a little bit better than I did. I don't know why I, I didn't explain it better. Um, but basically what you do, I zoom in here. But basically you go down to this little, the little picture thing I show. And you find the diffusion map that looks the most like um, the base hair. So I just, I just wanted to clear that up because... I, I'm kind of an, I'm kind of an idiot, so that's, that's all, okay? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm actually going to go down here to this little button here. I'll zoom in. I'm gonna hit this and I'm gonna hit right file to current directory, D directory. I can't speak. And then I'm gonna go back into my bangs. So I, see, I didn't join these. The bangs are not on the hair yet. And this makes it 10 times easier. So if you're UV mapping, don't join your mesh quite yet until you have all the textures set. So everything isn't cluttered and it's not like everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, but now we need to select the whole, oh, you can see what I'm doing here. Right, let me get out of there. You can see what I'm doing up here. I added a little uh, screen thingy, but just hit A so you select the whole mesh. And as you can see, now we have this here. And another thing to make your life easier. I'm assuming you already know the b basics of Blender. If you don't, I can also do a video on that if you'd like. But um, I'm assuming you already know the basics of Blender. So I I'm not going to go over that. But hit this little button down here. And as you can see now, let's say if I just wanted to select some parts on the mesh, now you can see those highlighted in the UV. So that'll make your life like 10 times easier. Literally so much easier. Like it's gonna make, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, but let's go into the UV map. So I think it's this one. It, it is, it's this one. So this is the UV map for the bangs here. These are the university bangs. I've used these on so many different hairs. This is ridiculous. Um, but so the first, next you wanna write this file to the current directory. Direct, am I saying that right? I think I'm saying that right. Okay, and then you're gonna go down to image and you're gonna replace the image. And, oh gosh, okay, I'm just gonna go and use base, but normally the base is the one that I extracted, but you can like get, okay, actually I got the guessing right, so never mind. You, you want to pick one of those files, either the one you exported, the DDS you exported when you got the hair, etc. You want to take the texture from here and replace the texture the bangs had with that texture. So now they're sharing the same texture map, which is what we want. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of... I guess UV map this first. I'm gonna do the underneath. So I just hit L on my keyboard. And as you can see, that's gonna close. I'm just gonna reopen it again so I can see what I'm doing. But this is our underneath here. So as I move this, oh, and I have proportional editing on, so I'm gonna turn that off. Um, but as you can see here, now it's moving the texture onto the thing. And that actually looks okay. Oh, see, look, but see, this is where we have problems. Oh, not sculpt mode. So as you can see up here, I accidentally moved that, <laughs> so I'm gonna hit the back button because that was accidentally selected. So now we can move stuff and nothing will be bad. So I'm just gonna pick some texture slots I think will look decent enough for this hair. Um, you wanna make sure to go with spots. It's Curly hairs are particularly very difficult to um, UV map and I highly recommend um, <laughs> practicing before you try curly hairs because they are uh kind of the worst <laughs> um but let's just 
let's just UV map this bad boy. I want it to look decent, you know? It's kind of hard because, like, it's not gonna... When you're meshing the hair, it's not gonna look exactly how you would want it to or maybe how it did before you replace the texture because you're using a completely different texture. So that's why it's, like, if you're like, what the heck, this looks weird. Um, That's why. So right now I'm just... What's going on here? Stop that. Stop it. Okay, see, I accidentally... See what, see what I mean? So, see, we've got an ish here. So, I have to... I press, I'm pressing C, and I'm just using my circle select to kind of, like, select the whole thingy so I can actually move it all. Sometimes that'll happen. Editing Kylie, uh, pro tip, you can also press B on your keyboard to get the rectangular select if you don't like circle select, but you might have already knew that. Okay. <laughs> That's only happening to me because I mirror modified these bangs. These aren't like the original ones. I just mirror modified them. Um, also, some tips. So, if you scale down the UV map, the texture gets smaller and blurrier. If you scale it up, you get more detail. Um, if you scale it XYs, you get more, I guess, I guess you could say you get more strands. So, if you wanted it to be like extra strandy, you could do that. Um, and vice versa, if you scale it in, you get less, which is, is, I don't recommend because it looks pretty blurry on most textures. Um, you can also scale it Y with the Y, like press S and then Y on your keyboard, and that will, um, make it longer. Um, also when I press, when I scaled it out, I'm pressing S, X on my keyboard. So that's just a fun little tip. Um, if you can, I'd say try to keep it most of the time the same size because otherwise the texture is going to look kind of blurry and distorted and you don't really, you don't want that. Um, what is this piece also? <laughs> I need to look. Okay. So I'm just going to UV map this really fast. I might speed this up. I don't know. Um, also a fun tip. This is, I, I prefer to use L and, um, I don't know what this is called down here. Hold on. I don't know what this little bad boy is called. Keep UV UV sync. Okay, we'll call it UV sync. Um, <laughs> I like to keep that on and select textures so I can see, like, see, this is a whole strand here. So now I know that these two are connected. So when I'm putting them in an area, I can keep them in the same shebang, you know? <laughs> um, oops. Oh, and also, fun fact, if you hit C and shift, so let's say I select this, if you hit C again, like on your keyboard, and then hold shift down and press on it, it deselects. So, if you already know Blender, you probably already knew that. But, um, I highly recommend learning Blender before getting compl complex with, with, um, UV mapping because it can be very tricky and mean and rude. And honestly, <laughs> some EA meshes are a nightmare to UV map. Like, actually. Let me speed this up and kind of UV map everything where I want it and then I'll be, I'll be right back. Also, I want to pop in and really quickly and say if you need to rotate, you can also rotate your UV map. So if you press R on your keyboard with a spot selector to just UV selected, you can rotate it um, kind of sideways. So see now the texture is sideways and it looks very weird. Um, you can also rotate it upside down. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but um, if you go, oh that actually looks okay. Actually no it doesn't. <laughs> um, let me go back into edit mode. If you go into your keyboard, any button you press. So I'm going to press the S button. If you press a number, like on your number pad and press, so I entered 15 there on my keyboard, you can scale it up to a certain size. So I let's say scale X five on my keyboard and now it's five. So you can do that instead of manually editing it if you wanted to keep them fairly similar or the same size. Um, I just wanted to pop in and say that because that was something I didn't know you could do until like, I don't know, a few weeks ago. <laughs> so yeah, okay. All right, I think I'm okay with this. The texture is kind of blurry a little bit. I'll probably clean it up a bit more. Um, but I also just, <laughs> I know this isn't part of the video, but I also just wanted to share some really quick blender tips that I didn't know personally until um, a few weeks ago, which is embarrassing. Or actually, no, a few months ago. This makes your blender life easy, right? 
So, you know scrolling in and out scrolls you in, right? Well, if you press shift on your keyboard and the middle mouse button, you can move. I didn't know that. You can also press control and, like, zoom in with your mouse and move it, and that zooms you in. And, um, yeah. It just, like, I didn't know about the shift middle mouse button click until, like, a while ago. <laughs> so, um, yeah. If you're having a hard time controlling Blender, try that. And also, when you open Blender, you're gonna look like this. You're gonna have the fish thing like the fish eye lens you know the 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 emoji meme press five on your keyboard just do it it's gonna make your life a lot easier um and yeah so that's all i really have to say about that um if you have any more questions or if you think i missed anything please leave a comment down below and i will pin it to the top so people see them um make sure to check the comments too because i'm not an expert at making hairs i'm definitely <laughs> still working on getting better um also if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below or ask me on Tumblr and I will try my best to answer them as well as I can with the, as much knowledge as I have in my brain. Um, and if you'd like to see any more tutorials, if you'd like to see any more tutorials like this, let hit me up, you know, let me know because like, I'm here for that. I'm, I'm okay. I'm actually kind of bad at explaining stuff, but <laughs> you get the gist of it. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to go now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from me. And leave some of your comments and thoughts down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say as always. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!